My name is David, and this is I Am the Seabro Paracord Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the knuckle bump paracord bracelet. First, what you'll need is two strands of cord fused together of uh, five feet. What I'm using here is orange camo and black. I've already done the part where I need to fuse the cords together, as you can see here. Uh, that's simply done just by cutting off the ends, uh, keeping them like exposed with the cord, and melting the tips, and then pushing them together, and then rolling it out. All right, and you'll need a five-eighths buckle. If you're using a jig, you'll need two. All right, let's get into this tutorial. First off, what you want to do is start from the bottom. I'm going to take these two ends down through the buckle. What I'm going to do for this one, I'm not going to do a cow's hitch because it doesn't suit the, uh, the closure. I'm going to make sure that the ends are even and I'm going to do the like I did in one of my previous tutorials. I did this method for closing it off. Uh, you're going to take one end of the, uh, the cord and you're going to go down through the loop and come right back out making sure this stays above both the, uh, the same colored cord. You're going to pull out the slack on that, and you're going to basically make like a uh, knot in the end. You want to make sure you pull out your slack, and you want to tighten up that right there. This is a more secure uh, knot when using the Manny method, as it won't release the, uh, the weld like it's shown here um, so that it won't come off. Uh, this will basically uh, prevent that from ever coming apart. All right, let me do the other side. Excuse me, sorry about that. After that, you'll have two evenly spaced uh, knots. You want to take your uh, cord ends and bring them down through the top buckle. And you're going to loop them over themselves. Always make sure that when you uh, singe your ends, uh, what I'm using right now is a bullet tip on these. Uh, I usually flatten my cords out. Okay. You're going to tie a knot up at the top section here. You're going to bring your uh, right cord through uh, over cord two down between one and two and you're gonna pull out the slack uh, making sure you don't like snap your buckle at the top and you're gonna close off the knot right there and this will give you your tightness on this one I'm going with an eight and a quarter inch wrist as this is the uh, like this is practically close to my wrist length For this one <clears throat> next uh, in the tutorial what you want to do 
you, I always start off with my right side chord. And you want to take your end. You want to come up underneath the right strand chord and go back down to the right. You're going to create one loop like this. Then you're going to take the chord, bring it under both chords. And you're going to bring that knot that end through again like so so you come through the right side loop over here if you could get a look at it and then next after that you want to bring the cord down over the top and underneath the uh, left side cord next you just want to take your cord and tighten it up. I'm going to hold it from underneath to keep the keep it tight. And I'm going to take the slack out of this cord right here. And then bring the slack out of that cord. Then I'm going to finish closing this off by pulling the slack out. And there's the first pattern. This will be the same throughout. Always make sure that when your opposites come to the same side as the other chord, bring the uh, primary. The black will always be over the orange when uh, when you uh, loop it over. The orange afterwards will come back up through here. But for uh, reference, I will leave it out for now. And you're going to repeat the process for this one, like it shows here. And then the same thing. Once you bring uh, the first loop over this individual chord, and then the second loop over both chords. Let me bring that up now. And then this chord over here, over the left strand and under the right. And then pull out your slack. Make sure it's uh, held tight in place. And that finishes off that chord. This is going to be a full tutorial, st so stay stay with me. Next, you want to bring your orange chord over and under the left strand, doing the same pattern as you did right here. Looping over the first, looping over the first chord from underneath, and then looping over uh, both chords and then down through the left. And then same thing, follow through. Next, you're going to bring your black cord over and underneath the uh, orange camel. Then under uh, both the orange camel, uh, under the uh, right cord and the left cord and back down through the loop made by the black in, in that pass. And then same thing, over the right cord and down under the uh, left cord and then bring your uh, other cord up in through that loop tightening everything up And then next, with the orange cord here, 
you're going to repeat the process. All right, now on to the next step. Bring the black uh, from the left side under the left cord and back through the loop on the left. And then under uh, both cords over from the right, going back down through both cords. And then out the left, over the uh, left cord and under the right cord. I'm just going to proceed through this as quickly as I can. I want to keep this video as short as I possibly can. <sighs> so if you got a feel for the design by now, go ahead and continue on. All right, now for the end, what I'm going to do is basically 
uh, since the orange cord was the last one, I'm going to wrap that back over completely. I'm going to bring my cord up underneath through the uh, gap. And I'm going to take that cord. I'm going to come over both strands. And I'm going to um, wrap over cord one and back up in between cords one and two. Then I'm going to bring my cord right back up and then back down through that little hole there in the end. I apologize if my hand is getting in the way. I'm going to take the cord through the loop made by the orange cord. I'm going to pull out the slack on that. And this will be the tie off for it. So I'm going to tie that off right there. And at the end, I'm going to cut and singe so that it's held nice and tight. I'm going to do the same thing for the black. I'm going to bring that underneath. And over the same left cord that I did the same with the... Uh, with the uh, orange camo, I'm going to pull the slack up from the black over uh, towards the upper upper end and repeat the process. Going to bring the cord back down through the gap if I can. And then pull the slack out and through the loop right here and basically tightening up the slack on that one. And then I close that one off. That'll be how you end this design. If you got a better method, uh, go ahead and do it. All right. There we go. This is the knuckle bump. Bottom and the top pr pretty much look the same. Whichever way you want to wear it, you can do that. All right, this will conclude the tutorial, and as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel to see, to see more uh, future tutorials. Thank you, and have a nice day.